DC Daily. I'm Clark Wolf, and today we're gearing up for Swamp Thing's debut on DC Universe. Uh, swap thing dance. Yeah, yeah. We, we swap thing. Let's take well, that to the club. Let me know twist. how it works out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, friends. How excited are you guys to see an original Swamp Thing series on the DC Universe? We've been talking about this since day one. So crazy excited. Uh, I was lucky enough to get to see the first episode. You lucky. Uh, I, That's yeah. you're pretty lucky. John was there too. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. I have also and, seen uh, the first oh, episode. Yeah. What? Yep. And uh, it sad. was so good. It was so, they they do such a good job in the first episode of laying the groundwork for the awesomeness you know is coming. Uh, I loved how they pretty much start right from the get. You can jump in not knowing anything mm -hmm. about Swamp Thing and enjoy the heck out of that first episode. I'm so excited. Yeah, they do really set the table well for anybody. You do not need to have done a lot of homework to watch and appreciate every aspect of the show. And I would also definitely say that it's right in line with what DC Universe has done with everything that we've watched so far. Mm -hmm. They're finding new ways to really break that mold and tell comic book stories in amazing new ways. Like we just, you know, coming off of Doom Patrol, what a great, weird mm -hmm. show, unlike anything we've ever seen. And to now be like, okay, what, how, how do we approach Swamp Thing? gotta be scary yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and they're really leaning into that and especially when you have somebody like James Wan attached to it who has such a great horror eye and sensibility they've really brought that through and so I'm just looking forward to yet another DC Universe show that's unlike anything I've ever seen yeah, it's like when you watch it, you feel chilled, but then it's also, you feel so incredibly satisfied um, as a fan because some things will just pop up and you're like, oh, I know exactly where that came from. And I can't believe you just did it in that way, but I appreciate this. So there's that. So yes, you get that gothic horrorness, um, which is kind of romantic. Uh, at least for me, horror is always a little bit romantic, even if it's James Wan horror. That's me. I'm I'm wired. Blood and I'm guts wired and violence way. and a little bit of romance. I got hey, you the severed angles. foot. <laughs> it's romantic. It's a personal gift. <laughs> well, Hector, how excited are you? Since this side of the couch hasn't gotten oh. any of it yet. Sorry. Not so lucky. Sorry, we're not so special. I guess my pants aren't that fancy, but. <laughs> we'll get you better pants. We all need better pants. We all do need they have so, fabulous pants. I'm so stinking excited to watch this, you guys. I, I, am, I have been so excited to dive into Swamp Thing, period. Uh, it is uh, you know, very well known that I have yet to read some of these great Swamp Thing runs, and I knew that the show was coming out this year. And I have liked, I think, every DC Universe original show mm -hmm. more and more as they've gone on. So like, I cannot wait to dive into Swamp yeah. Thing. It's gonna be great. I, for years we were like, oh, what if they did more Swamp Thing? What if they yeah. made a new Swamp Thing show? How cool would that be? What if they made a movie? What if they what if they took all of these runs that we love the most? Uh, and like, we're there! It's yes, today! It is. I'm so excited, y'all! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we. I feel like I've been talking about it, and like they, they, every yeah. time we have, we answer the question, "What are you most excited about?" What are like something, something, <laughs> uh, and now it's here, and I'm so excited, just like you guys are. So we've got more Swamp Thing talk coming up, but first, here's some news from DC. So, Amy, what do you think about the series planning to lean more into the horror aspects of Swamp Thing? Because you know that's like my selling point. That's what, like, yeah. I, that's what made me go, er? Okay. Uh, <laughs> but so here's my mixed feelings. Yes. On the one hand, correct choice. Yeah, you gotta. That's what this story is so special and it's so that and it would be a disservice to it not to do that. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, uh -oh. I'm a weenie. Oh, yeah. uh, it's gonna yeah. scare the heck out of me. I can barely make it through the comics even though I love them. <laughs> so, you know, well, check in with me. All right, yeah. mixed feelings. <laughs> How about what you? people want, though. Yeah. That's yeah. what Ebert always used to say. People like it when the thing they're watching messes with them and yeah. takes them out of their comfort and zone. And I know yeah. it's I'm an experience signing up that for with that. You. I just, yeah. you know. You gotta prepare. It's gonna leave the lights on. It'll be fine. All right, Hector. Hey, I got your back. I'm also a weenie. We're weenies together. Aww. But right. I also think this is such a smart thing to do is to lean into this horror aspect. I think that it it shows once again that the DC universe as a whole, 
this unbelievable like brand has so much potential for different genres mm -hmm. within it. And it's something that I don't think we've seen enough of in movies or television live action adaptations of DC is that sort of horror side mm -hmm. to this universe. So mm -hmm. super excited. I think it's a really smart, smart decision. I am so glad that we're leaning into the horror of Swamp Thing, uh, in particular because of the way that it's set up. Uh, it's cinematic. It feels like a movie that you are getting, and it's this tension and this suspense. And then it's it's swampy. It's like Willy won't he? And then uh, it's it's a mystery too. It's a who done it at the same time. And when you think about it, what we've had up to this point, we've had really great content, uh, but they've been more uh, TV oriented or, you know, like a little bit of Jason Bourne-ness happening with like uh, Titans with Starfire and yeah. such. And then the wackiness, but uh, also, Ooh, real realness <laughs> of Doom Patrol. Yeah. So having this like doubling down on the horror, getting that gothicness of it, I think this is exactly what the doctor uh, ordered. Mm. <clears throat> Having seen it, oh, uh, yeah. uh, you know, we remember. Not, not we only, know, John. Not only leaning into the horror, but as movie fans, seeing practical horror. Mm -hmm. That's that's yes. one of the things that I'm most excited about seeing throughout yeah. the show is the mix of. CGI, but also the practical things that they've done for real on set in camera. And you get a lot of that in the first episode too. And I just like to see that because it's it's like OG filmmaking to me is to see it done for real. Mm -hmm. And uh, you get that in this show. And I'm really yeah. excited for that. 100%. I, I was worried because it's so easy with a property like Swamp Thing to lean into the comedy or the campiness of it. And this is nothing like that. It's mm. very serious, it's very dark. Uh, the horror aspect is great. And like you said, a lot of it was practical. Cool. Uh, it was like watching vintage Rick Baker stuff. It really oh. took me there. And I'm, I'm, I'm very anxious to see more. Yeah, I love you'll it. You'll be giving your plants a side eye like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, get out of here, plants. Uh, we, yeah, and Len Wiseman at the helm for the first couple of episodes, who's done some really awesome stuff, genre stuff, TV, film. Can't it, it, All the players are here, so especially for the horror elements. We're all hyped for DC Universe's Swamp Thing, so DC Daily caught up with the cast of the new series. Take a look. I love the complexity of the character. I love that with Swamp Thing that each of us can identify with the different parts of humanity that he, he's trying to, to discover and figure out himself. So to me, that just like, it blows my mind to go like, oh, let's go get this whole existentialism journey inside your own brain and have it melt, which is a blast. Andy Bean is a prince of a human being. Usually as an artist, you kind of have your own style and you do your own creation process. And with this, there are parts where, where he and I come together and whatnot. So we would compare notes and like have these crazy existential conversations and go down these rabbit holes and going, okay, but hold up, what if it's like this? And the lines between he and I, that they're, we, we blur them together so we become one, in a sense. That makes, does that make any sense? I hope that makes a lot of sense. Uh, but anyways, he, he's just delightful, and, and I had such a good time working with him. Uh, as a, I'll just reiterate, like Derek is like, he's just, uh, he's just this beautiful, gentle, smart, intelligent, talented giant. And um, it was fun and very unique to talk about a particular person that is going to be like, bifurcated, it's gonna be like split, but it's the same person and it's the same consciousness. Playing Alec and establishing the base of the human, the person that has like blood pumping through them and has desires and wants and dreams and flaws and, and making sure that that was as uh, believable and hu human as possible and his connection with uh, Abby. So then when it's taken away from him, it, you know, it seems to matter. He's kind of the, the genius behind um, this accelerant, he created it, and you know, he's kind of the catalyst for, um, for everything <laughs> that kind of uh, ends up happening in Moray. Madame Xanadu is everywhere <laughs> all the time. If anybody is uh, in need of advice, Madame Xanadu is there ready to offer it, okay? So, for example, one of the crew members, so funny, he goes, well, is that a Madame Zana do or a Madame Zana don't? You know, I was like, I love that! Because, cause, you know, I tell people, okay, you should do this or you might not want to do that, <laughs> you know, basically. So I guess her main power is her immortality. Uh, the fact that she's able to live long enough to figure out 
that life is much more than we usually can see in front of us. Liz is a hometown girl. Liz is, uh, she's from Murray and she loves it there and she's really like the person who sort of feels at home there, maybe the one person who doesn't want to get out of town. The tone overall of, of the world, of the characters, is what I'm most excited about. It is a very different tone, I think, than, than people might expect from something that is within a superhero arena and, and yet not a superhero. I grew up in the South. And in the South, we live with our ghosts, our root workers, our hoodoo people, you know, crazy Southern people, whatever. It, it all coexists, you know? There is more to life. And for me, Xanadu is in touch with all the layers of existence and life and spirits, et cetera. Wearing the suit, like in general, it's difficult, but the suit itself, especially compared uh, to wearing it in the water, it's the best that it could possibly be. And honestly, like these guys who create this, I, I, I feel like it's a crazy like jet fighter and I'm the one who gets to pilot it, but you know, you can't fly it alone, so we work as a team. And I'm just, I, I get to wear art and I'm so happy about it. Um, you know, the art, and the thoughtfulness behind every single aspect of this show uh, just truly drew me in as an actor, and I, I really, that's how I got carried away. Oftentimes, you know, when you're when you're shooting things, there will be moments where you think you have to imagine something, like, oh, there's a boat stuck in a tree, and then you show up on the Swamp Thing set, and there's a boat stuck in a tree in the middle of the swamp, and I think, for me, that was like, oh, this is, amazing and real and I think that was uh, like it hit me like oh wow this is no joke this is really a big thing. I don't know I knew it was going to be great but this is it's it's phenomenal I mean I'm on the edge of my seat. In honor of Swamp Thing's first episode we've got a very special sweepstakes kicking off today check it out. <laughs> to get ready for the show is all the Swamp Thing comics you can find on DC Universe. We just read a bunch for our recent book clubs. Book clubs. Club. 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 <laughs> We're also celebrating Swamp Thing and the other creatures of the bayou as DC Universe's first stop during its summer supercation. Mm. So uh, let's, let's go around and talk about what makes Swamp Thing such a special character. Ooh. Uh, well, first off, 